Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Impla, help me spell backwards, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a full guide as to how to do the main quest on Deadly Lover's Fortress on Scar Ritual. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, get out of this doorway right here and start heading towards that white diamond straight down there. It's a pretty simple straight path. You're going to get into this little glowing circle. Now, once you are in this glowing circle and it's completely finished up with this cage going upward and that turning, once that is completely finished and the glowing circle disappears, it is going to spawn a boss fight. This is Bower. You're going to need to kill him pretty much right away if you don't want you know, him to be around for multiple rounds, so it is going to be a rough boss fight because it is round one, it is with your pistol, and there are some guns you can find, but again, it is going to be a rough boss fight, this does count as an actual boss fight, so be careful, he takes a lot of damage, he takes a lot of bullets, and he can tank a lot. After beating him, you are then going to head to your next step, go ahead and head through this cage door to this blue orb in the sky, go ahead and shoot that twice or three times, however long it takes to destroy it, after you've broken it, see, if you haven't broken it, that electricity will still be there, you're going to need to completely break it, then you're going to go over to the generators, break this generator right here. Once you do that, it's going to spawn another version of Bower. You're going to need to kill him as well. This is your second boss fight in the map. Once you have completely killed him, you'll be able to move on. But until then, you are going to need to kill Bower to be able to move on with the rest of the step. Again, be very careful as this can take a very, very long time. He is a boss and it does count as a boss fight. He takes a lot of damage and you are going to need to do a lot. Once you finally do kill him though, you can then go back to shooting that blue orb in the sky. And every single time you go to break a generator, you're going to need to shoot this blue orb and break it first. So go ahead and get this blue orb broken, then head to the next generator, which is right over here across from the first one. Then you're going to break this, go ahead and melee it, that's what I recommend, always melee power generators, it goes quicker, go ahead and shoot the blue orb yet again. Then we are going to go to the next power generator, which is up on this bridge right here, right next to the stairs, and then the last generator, after you break the blue orb again, is going to be on the other side of those stairs again. Then you're going to need to go through this door, go ahead and push into the banqueting hall, and once you push into the banqueting hall, you are then going to be told you need to destroy the wall to the lover's chamber, and to do this, you need to collect a bunch of oil pots, one of which is right here, in the banqueting hall you're going to need to interact with it to be able to pick it up then you're going to want to run over here to the dragon on the head of the battering ram go ahead and interact with that put the oil on the dragon so that you can oil it up Go ahead and find the next few locations that are scattered across the entire map. Once you've completely filled it up with oil, you can then ignite it. To be able to do this, you need to go over here to this little head on the wall, turn right from there, and grab the torch that is in the middle of this little balcony. Once you grab this torch, you're going to want to head back to where you killed Bower the second time. Go ahead and use that, interact with it, to light the torch on fire using Bower's head. Then we are going to go all the way back into the banqueting hall at the top of the stairs. And once we are back into the top of the stairs, we're going to ignite the battering ram. Then after you do this, you're going to go over here to where the dragon head on the wall is again, and you're going to interact with it. It'll pull a lever, and then once that is done, it is going to come over and light this wall on fire, and you can enjoy just watching a fiery dragon. It's... <laughs> I mean, that's about it. Run down through that doorway, run down these stairs, turn to the right, and you're going to want to interact with this door just like it's telling you to do. Then once you interact with the door, it's going to tell you you need to eliminate Bauer, Abraham, Isaac, and the stranger. To be able to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head back into the banqueting hall, drop onto the ground down here, and activate the teleporter. Once you do this, you're going to be tasked with getting a full canister. To do this, head into the cloning laboratory, activate the machine. I picked up a note right there, but you know what I mean. Activate the machine. You're going to be tasked with getting these empty vials. And now, the sign to the left is going to tell you exactly everything you need to know on how to do this step. Up here, we have vial A. That is diamond, circle, diamond, square. Diamond, diamond, square, circle. Because the diamond and the circle are switched and the diamond and the square are switched. That's what the arrows mean. So we're going to be doing and looking for diamond, diamond, square, circle. Which one of these has diamond, diamond, square, circle on it? There's a little signs in front of them. That's not it. This one is also not it. Let's see. Over here, this one is not it. But over here, this is our last one we can check. Look at that. Diamond, diamond, square, circle. It'll then put a glowing circle around it after you interact with it, and you need to stay in the circle until the progress bar is completely filled up. Once this is done, you can pick up the full vial. You can come over here, and you can put the full vial into A, and you will be done with A. You will know you have done it right and correctly. Whenever you look at the machine again, it should have a green light at the top instead of a red on the letter A. Good job. Now you move on to, to the letter B. Go ahead and go into this east corridor, up these stairs, 
Turn to the right, you're gonna to wanna to buy this door. Once you purchase this door, go to the left, and at the end of the left, there's going to be this one. It's gonna be square, tri square, square, circle, triangle, because the square and the triangle are now switching places. So square, square, circle, triangle right here. Go ahead and put the vial in. Yet again, refill the entire vial by just staying in the circle until the progress bar is ticked. And then when it's done, pick it up. Come over here, put it in B. You'll be able to know it's right whenever you see the green light pop up for B. Then we're going to do vial number C. Go ahead and pick that one up. That one is going to be over here to the left in the cloning laboratory itself. It is going to be circle, 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 square. So once we ever, once we get that one done, we're going to look for circle, 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 square right here. Put it in there. Glowing circle on the ground. We're going to stay in the glowing circle on the ground for as long as possible until the progress bar is completely ticked up. Once this is completely done, we are then going to have that last one done. Now, fair warning, putting this last vial in here is going to spawn the King of the Rats boss fight. This is eliminating the stranger. You are going to need to kill him. I recommend leaving the laboratory. The cloning laboratory can be a very rough place to get caught up with a boss fight, so just leave that area. Do not get caught up there. I recommend staying in the banqueting hall. It is the best spot to really fight him in. You can train all around a lot of zombies really quickly and you are going to need to kill him to progress in the story and it's going to take a while he is a boss fight again just play it safe be careful be safe um, once you have completely killed him though you have then eliminated the stranger that is the first of the four heads that you need from all of the bosses fallen foes as it says after this part is done, you're going to want to head back to the machine, pick up the full canister, then head all the way back out of the coin laboratory into the banqueting hall. Once you get there, head to the teleporter, go to this holder, enter it into the holder, go to the teleporter and teleport to this room where you're going to want to stay in the circle by this door. And you need to stay here and you do not need to kill zombies in the circle. You just need to stay in the circle. As long as you are killing zombies within the radius of that circle, so within the room, it will count towards your progression and you need to stay in that circle and kill zombies until the progression bar is ticked up and the door opens. Once this is done you can then head through the door all the way into this little area by this door right here you're gonna head into here head through this little tunnel system until you see this door over here with the chalice pick up the chalice and you're then going to need to open the door to the quiet ones to do this you're gonna head right back to that entrance where this door is head over to this little box open it up you're gonna see this quiet one now I recommend paying him to run because yet again, just like in the last map, Sewers of the Dead, he is very slow and can take a while, so I recommend saving up some points and just paying for him to run to the scale that he's going to be on. Uh, the scale he's going to be on is going to be right in front of you, though, so go ahead and run to that scale. He's going to be on that. You're going to look around for this blue lever. Once you find this blue lever right here, you're going to interact with it, then a cage door will open somewhere around you. Go ahead and go up to the cage door, into it, and collect the blood of the dead body into the chalice. You are going to need to do this three times, and once you have completed done it three times successfully each one is going to be longer and further by the way but once you have completely done it three times completely successfully you will grab the last chalice and then you will head back to that doorway that you originally got the chalice at and on the left and the right side there are going to be these tables that you need to fill up with blood from the chalices go ahead and do that it will open up the door you can interact with it and open the door and then you will fight Bower the undying this is your next boss fight you need to kill Bower for a third time in this map and once you have completely eliminated Bower the undying that is the eliminate the bower head and you have gotten that fallen foe done you have two more left they are abraham and isaac to do abraham you need to head back into the spawn area out in the outer court and once you do this there is going to be a wall with a bunch of heads on it three of which are going to be going red it's two right here because i already did one but three of which are going to be going red you need to find out which ones they are these are scattered across the map, but there are little tables with interact buttons on them that have the symbols of each person in the map, each basically elder god essentially. You're going to want to interact with each one of these until every single one is gold. Once they are all gold, you will know because it will start showing. It will go from red to gold on the wall, so that is how you can take your progress. Once you are done with all of these, though, you can then go over there and open the strange box that is right, sitting right inside of the wall, right in front of it. Whenever you open up this box, you are going to be tasked with beating Abraham. This is going to be your boss fight. Also, cool little feature here, Once, as you're fighting him, you'll notice clone Abraham and clone Isaac are going to be the people you're fighting, not actual Abraham or Isaac, because you've already beaten them in the maps prior. Like always, like I always say, just be careful. It is a boss fight. It can get tricky and sticky and get into a tricky, sticky situation. Uh, try not to get surrounded by zombies. I recommend leaving one zombie alive during this boss fight. But once you kill him and completely finish that boss fight, you can walk back over to the box that you originally were at. Pick up the sword from the box and head into the banqueting hall, up these stairs in the north corridor, turn to the right, into the sword, into the door as a key. Once the door is completely opened up, you are then going to head through the door, up to this wall, interact with it, and after this, you're going to be tasked with 
turning a bunch of valves. Uh, they are scattered across the map, but you can see the white diamonds right there. Just follow the white diamonds on your game, and it will take you right to each location. It's fairly simple, but once you have done all of them, you're going to head back down into this little area where the banqueting hall is, teleport, and you're going to head over to this door right here. You're going to put one explosive part into that machine. You're going to stand in the circle, and you're going to need to stay in the circle until it is completely filled up, and the progress bar is ticked. You do not need to fight any zombies, so I recommend just leaving a zombie alive and running back and forth like I'm doing here. Um, you're going to need to do this with three different doorways, so pick that up, run over the next doorway as it opens, enter it into this doorway, and whenever you enter it into this doorway, you're going to have a circle. Once you finish all three, you will then be having to fight Colin Isaac. This is another boss fight. Yet again, be careful, be safe, and watch out for his electricity because that can really mess you up. It is very dangerous. So again, just play it safe. This is not your last boss fight you're going to do. But you did eliminate Z Colin Isaac there. So now we're going to move in back into the room that we put the sword on and interacted with. Then we are going to put the sword on it again after interacting with it again. So just go ahead and interact with it. Then walk up to it once it rises back up. Interact with it again just right here and after that you are going to want to kill a bunch of the knights of skur which are these frost dudes that throw frost blades at you whenever you kill them you will be picking up scraps and you will put the scraps onto the sword like this as you do that just interact with it and it'll put them on there once you're completely done with this it makes the sword into a wonder weapon that you can then pick up for 2000 points and you can bam just do a great great crazy ass attack with it after this, you're going to want to head all the way back down. By the way, this looks fucking sick. All the way back down to the door you originally started at. Put each head into its respective place. Once all the heads are in there, the door will open and you are now fighting Elizabeth. This is the final boss fight. I recommend being very careful here. A lot of zombies will spawn. She has electric floors right there. She will shoot electricity into the ground. She will also have an orb go around her that will protect her. And while she does that... Another miniature boss style elite zombie named Thomas who is a reindeer will spawn in. He looks like this. You're going to want to kill him. I promise you. But again, just be careful. You know, play it safe, but you should be able to get through it pretty easily. Just watch out for the electricity. Make sure you know there's a resupply there. You can resupply it in time. And once you beat her, just like the other maps, you are able to leave at any point or stay in high round. If you choose to stay in high round, good luck. If not, I'm glad you enjoyed the game. If you enjoyed the video or this helped you in any way, please consider subscribing and sharing with a friend. I appreciate you watching, and have a great day.